That's true, yeah. And no one could tell him what to do, that's for sure. Um, I remember one time uh, after that, after he had settled, there was some other settlement meeting that was going on in the office, but it had nothing to do with, you know, allegations like that. It was some other completely different settlement. And his lawyer was in the in my office where I worked, the management office, and uh, the lawyer was there, and they were in a big meeting with my bosses, his managers. I think it was John Branca, actually. And um, so Michael called and asked for, asked to speak to Sandy, his manager. Okay. And I was like, oh, uh, Michael, uh, he's, in a meeting, can I have him call you back? He was like, meeting, what meeting is this? I said, oh, well, he's in, he's in there with John Branca. <laughs> he said, John Branca, why is he there? <laughs> I said, oh, they're in a settlement meeting. You know, oh. you know, I got so flustered that he was asking me all these oh. questions because he could be, Michael could be extremely direct and right. you didn't expect that from him because usually he was like, oh, ha, blah, blah, blah. But then like when he really wanted to know something, he would just directly ask you questions yeah. and put you on the spot. Well, there was a part of him that was a businessman, too. Yeah. And he understood what it meant to be a businessman and to be in charge of his business. And he was in charge, let me tell you. <laughs> and this was, is a great example of it. Um, so he was like, what meeting is that? And I said, oh, it says here, because I had a list of all the meetings and what they were about. I said, oh, it says here it's a settlement meeting. And he, he like flipped out. He said, settlement? What are they settling? Because <laughs> he didn't really want to settle the first Jordy Chandler allegations, but you know, Johnny Cochran and the lawyers had convinced him that this was the best thing to do to, to just get it out of the way and move on with your life. Um, so a few months later, when this, when I said they're in a settlement meeting, he like went crazy. He was like, what are they settling? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I said, oh, I don't know. Um, let me, you know, let me just go slip them a note and have them call you. So he was like, okay, I'll hold. <laughs> So mm -hmm. I was so nervous. I was like, oh, God, they're going to be, Sandy's going to be mad that I told him be, that yeah. it was a settlement meeting you and snitched. that he's in there with John Branca. I shouldn't have, just shouldn't have said anything. You snitched, you snitched. <laughs> but that was the fine line I was walking because, you know, I, I loved Michael just outside of uh, right. the office. But on the other hand, you know, I had a job to do and I had to be loyal to my bosses. So, so how did that play out? Did, did, they, did they calm him down? Or? Yeah, so... I slipped a note to, I think after that he wanted to talk to John Branca, not Sandy. So I went into the meeting, I slipped John Branca a note saying, you know, Michael's on the line. He was like, oh, okay, yeah, transfer him in here. So I transferred Michael into the meeting and I guess they told him what it was and it was nothing to be alarmed Could you hear, about. Did you hear him ye yelling? <laughs> no. <laughs> you listen to me. No. You know, I never heard Michael yell like that. He, um, he was tough in a different way. He uh, he could be very stern and very serious, but I never heard him like raise his voice like that. I'm sure maybe other people have, but I never witnessed that. And when someone is quiet and uh, soft-spoken, when they're stern and direct, that's all you need. You don't need him to raise the voice because right. I know it, it flustered me because I was like, I got nervous because I'd never heard him like that right. before. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then another time, like the other, only other time where he was really upset was the day that they strip searched him. He called and he was like, you know, can you just put me straight through to Sandy? I don't want to talk to anybody else. And um, he was just so upset on the other line. Um, yeah, I remember the video. He made a video statement about, and he was pretty outraged and talked about how they examined his penis and, and all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, he was outraged. And I, at the time, I didn't know what was going on, but I remember telling everyone at the office that, you know, Sandy's other assistants, I was like, oh my God, what? wonder what is wrong with Michael because uh, he sounds really upset and... Uh, and that I'd come to find out that's what it was. He had just been strip searched. So, so I was there through a lot of um, a lot of those historic moments. Sometimes I didn't know what had gone on, but now you know, reading back and looking at the dates, I realize it. So it, it was a it was an incredibly crazy time.